So I just want to jump in here real quick and explain kind of the reasoning for the title and just give my thoughts on Juno. Um, I think she is a very cool character, but I just haven't played much of her because of the short time period and just, I didn't really feel like playing that much. I kind of got the gist of her. You know, I wasn't chomping at the bit to play her. Plus, I mean, you have a whole nother support player who's waiting to play the new character. So I didn't get too many good games as her, but I got enough to kind of get a gauge. So first I want to talk about kind of how she heals. Some of the things I like about her is how easy it is to heal bot, very similar to Life Weaver. I just personally like the heal body characters because I like to heal. I like big number. But it is nice that she can go from heal to DPS mode pretty much instantly. Uh, another thing you'll see later in the video, I think I talked about it in one of the games, where you can shoot a full health tank, and if they're fully full health, you know, your shots will start passing through them and hitting enemies, which is very fun. Uh, then the speed boost. I mean, it's just a solid ability. I don't really care for it too much. It's not anything crazy. It's not as fun as Lucio's, but it's not broken and it's not underwhelming. So um, it's a pretty solid ability. Double jump and like the glide. I don't really use them that much. I also don't with BAP for the jump, but I think that's just my play style. Obviously, there are times where you need it. I just don't see myself using them. I do kind of glide, like the passive glide, I don't really use. But like the actual ability to fly, I do use, and that one is pretty good. Then the rockets, I really love the rocket ability. I think it is a pretty solid ability. It's very fun. Uh, I think my favorite part of it from the balancing aspect is it quickly charges on teammates and slowly charges on enemies because of the distance. Now, onto the ultimate ability. I honestly am a little underwhelmed. It can't outlive other ultimates, which is a little annoying because it itself is an ultimate, so do with that what you will. Now, I don't think it should survive a Diva Bomb, um, Reaper Alt, but I feel like it heals a little too slow, kind of like Life Weaver's Tree, like, you know, maybe because they're healing specific ultimates, maybe. They could outlive pretty much anything that isn't overly quick. Like a Reaper alt is very quick, like Bastion turret form. Those are very quick firing abilities. So maybe those should be able to counter it. In general, they should heal a little bit more, or at least quickly, a little bit quicker. Um, the damage boost is great, though. That is pretty fun. And then the, probably the only negative thing I have about Juno that's truly negative is the alt activation time. I don't think it's that crazy to not be happy when abilities take forever to activate i mean i think two or three times in this video i completely flub an ultimate and you hear the voice line you see the animation everything but the ultimate itself happens and it's frustrating because i'm doing it to save myself and you know life weaver's tree is pretty quick um other abilities can heal pretty quickly and then juno's alt is just it, I don't know, it just takes too long. It's 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 a little frustrating, and I think maybe they could increase the time or at least uh, have the alt activate during the animation as opposed to voice line animation end, and like five seconds later, you know, the ultimate actually starts. So that's my only gripe. All in all, I think Juno is pretty good for Overwatch standards. Uh, she has a very underwhelming launch. Don't be too freaked out by me saying that, but... I think from the aspect of characters like Malga, I think Venture, you know, characters have been released fairly broken and then in need of nerfs. Oh, and Alari, she was pretty fun. Similar to Life Weaver, I think Juno is fairly underwhelming. I don't think Juno needs buffs. I think Juno mm, would need tweaking, but nothing that changes anything. I, I'm pretty happy with this character. Uh, I do look forward to playing her on official launch, but of course it's a month away and... Honestly, she's not that great to really be kind of, you know, desperate waiting for it. But she will be pretty fun when she comes out. I'll probably play her more. You know, I think she's going to be very mid-tier um, support for me. And I do want to do a new tier list. So probably when she comes out, I'll do another tier list. Because my opinions have very very much changed. But yeah, so I, I enjoy her. Hope others enjoy her. And uh, yeah, she had a, a pretty solid launch. I'd say for an Overwatch character. So enjoy the video. We must accelerate. <laughs> you want that? Oh. Four, three, 
I also love um, if your teammates full health, you just shoot straight through them. So, like I can sit here, yeah, I can, I can sit here spamming Diva, and then I'm just end, I just end up healing her and shooting people behind her. I guess it probably passes through and like heals someone in front of them too. Then. Already got your old crate. Yeah. Got 2600 healing already. Damn. But I was doing all the healing. <laughs> Missiles are low key cold. They heal pretty good. Do they got their shields? No. They don't even lock on. Like, someone puts up a shield, will it like lock on? No, it's not like, it's not like Cass's own. Exactly. I tried. Damn Get him, McCree. Get him! Get him! Even see it. Yeah, I think he just one he just, shot no matter what. I mean, he just didn't hold it down. Yeah, he did, and I watched him do it. He acted really quick. Oh, maybe it did just charge to the shield. It looked like it did there. Other other times it didn't. Yeah, it just locked on through the shield. I think. Add another character with movement so for a while. Oh, that's fine. So that probably means we're gonna add more of like a shield tank or like a tanky tank. I'd imagine. No! I got my alt off. Oh, I just wasted my alt.
time I haven't almost got alt number four. Loki from the barrel. The only good thing is I can shoot my ult through the wall if I get it. I got the day. She kind of sounds like, I don't know if you ever watched it, she sounds like uh, Starfire from Teen Titans. Oh yeah, she does. Just went off the map. Searching out the world no for map. Get in there. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy. GG, check GG, me out. Check me out. Cyber Grim. Minecraft. Minecraft. I love Minecraft. It's on me. Oh, Loki, cold. Too bad he didn't get the Moira. He probably could have gotten there. Oof. Oh, <laughs> that's when he rolled off the map. <laughs> oh, bro. Yeah, I guess he looked and rolled immediately. Thank you. 
Robots up here, I'm so stupid. Oh no 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 No! Why does it activate so slow? Such a great teleporter from Sim. The enemy is about to surpass us. Nah, really? Really? Zarya should not have that type of range. That's insanely unfair. Thirty seconds. Agon, Pogatov, Nosti. They are progressing. We must stop. Sound road. WTF? The grand finale. Protect the robot at all costs. Victory. Oh. Thank you.